In early November, with a bright flame piercing the sky, the Mengtian experimental module was successfully launched. In the vast universe, with the rendezvous and docking of the Mengtian experimental module and the Tianhe core module, the Chinese space station has finally been built in space. This shows that the space station built by China has been initially formed since then. In the near future, with the retirement of the International Space Station jointly built by Russia and the United States, the Chinese space station will become the only one in space. Moreover, as early as the successful launch of Shenzhou 13, China invited United Nations member states and international organizations to join the Chinese space station. So far, China has received applications from 17 countries including Russia, France, Germany, South Korea, and Belgium. In this new space race, the United States seems to have lost its long-term protagonist status. What is even more surprising is that the United States, a powerhouse in aerospace technology, is not even included in this list of 17 countries. Why isn't the United States among these 17 countries? Is America really losing the space race? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about. Let's get started. In recent years, China's aerospace industry has developed rapidly, and good news is constantly coming from space. First, the Chang'e explored the moon, and then the Zhurong rover landed on Mars for long-term Mars exploration. After that, the Shenzhou-12 manned spacecraft was successfully launched, and the construction of the Chinese space station started. Seeing that China's aerospace industry has made impressive achievements, the United States is anxious. Not long ago, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson publicly stated in the U.S. state media that the leader of the human space program is the U.S., so China must open up China's space station with an open attitude and accept a comprehensive review of the space station by the United States to check whether it meets the standards of the United States. At the same time, another American media reported that the United States will only agree to cooperate with China on the space station if the China space station meets the standards of the United States. Bill Nelson's America First attitude really amazed everyone. He also believes that China's behavior is too conservative, and China is unwilling to cooperate with the United States in the field of space, and China is not willing to accept the United States with an open attitude. What's more, he shows that he regrets China's various actions. In fact, when it comes to refusing cooperation in the space field, do you still remember the fact that many years ago, the United States ruthlessly rejected China outside the door of the International Space Station by virtue of the Wolf Clause? So far, Chinese astronauts have not entered the International Space Station. Behind this rejection is not only the refusal to cooperate with China's space station, but also the cutoff of China's aerospace industry from many countries in the world. How eager was China at that time to develop its own aerospace industry? However, due to the late start and the immature technology, China wants to learn from it, but it is rejected, so it can only turn around and do research on its own. However, China immediately recover after this setback. Instead, through independent innovation and independent research, it forcibly opened up a road to outer space. With the gradual formation of China's space station, China's space exploration capabilities have been at the forefront of the world. However, at this time, the United States believes that China should take an open attitude and accept cooperation with the United States in the space field. In this regard, China's response is only 10 words, low technical content, no scientific research value. In response to the blind and arrogant attitude of the United States, China directly responded with no technology and no scientific research value, which was simple and clear. For a long time in the past, there was only one space station in space, and that was the International Space Station Project, which was led by the United States and joined together with other countries in the world. However, the International Space Station has been used continuously for more than 20 years, during which it has been tinkered many times, and now it has finally reached the end of its life. According to NASA, the International Space Station is expected to cease operation in 2024 and officially withdraw. The countries currently participating in the International Space Station project led by the United States have not been able to launch the second space station, so once it reaches 2024, the United States will face the embarrassing situation of no space available. 
Coincidentally, the space station launched by China is expected to be completed in 2024, which means that if the International Space Station ceases to be used, China's space station will be the only operating space station in the world. Moreover, the United States and its allies also do not have enough money to invest in the construction of new space stations because of the continuous economic crisis. However, the United States has a huge demand for space stations. If the United States wants to maintain its leading position in the space field, it needs a ready-made space station to provide continuous scientific research, so the United States has set its sights on the China space station. Explained here, this matter has been very clear. The United States needs a space station, and China has a ready-made space station. Therefore, it is the United States that wants to cooperate with China, not China that is begging to cooperate with the United States. At the same time, with the completion of China's space station, many countries that refused to cooperate with China in the space field in the past have also submitted to China a statement of intention to cooperate, saying that they hoped to jointly explore space. With the attitude of scientific research without borders, joint research, joint exploration, and benefit of mankind, China is willing to open its own space station and achieve closer scientific research cooperation with other countries in the world. As a result, cooperation applications from 27 countries have been attracted. At the same time, after repeated consideration, China has approved the requests of 17 countries, which means that the China Space Station will welcome guests from 17 countries. So, why does China reject the U.S.? China's rejection of the U.S. cooperation application is not out of retaliation. China treats scientific research projects equally. For example, among the countries that China cooperates with this time, there are also countries that have rejected China. The reason why China rejected the United States this time is because the cooperation proposal submitted by the United States has no outstanding scientific research value, nor much research significance, and even wastes the scientific research resources of the China space station. Perhaps the United States is actually unwilling to cooperate with China in in-depth scientific research. Since the United States has no sincerity, why should China treat the U.S. with sincerity? According to British media reports, although China's space station has not been fully completed, scientific research projects from all over the world have already set up long queues, and China has initially approved the implementation of nearly 1,000 tests, and there are even some projects that have already carried out during the launch. It can be seen that China has always maintained an open attitude in the space station project. And if the United States wants to cooperate with China, the premise of it is to show full sincerity, not to fool others. More importantly, the right to speak of the China space station is always China's and does not need to be recognized by other countries. Do you think the China space station should be opened? Do you agree with the remarks made by the United States? Well, thanks for listening. If you have any suggestions, just leave them in the comments section. We'll come back as soon as possible and check them, and then we'll give feedback. See you next time.